Hi, I'm Julius from Pix4D Agriculture. In today's video, I explain the prescription map workflow in connection with the John Deere Operations Center. We will look at mapping and data processing, how to set up your field and Pix4D fields, spot spraying and variable rate prescription map creation, how to connect to the John Deere Operations Center, how to upload your data to the John Deere Operations Center, and how you can send your prescription maps to your machines. Important flight parameters to consider are sensor type, flight height, image overlap, and weather conditions. Use an RGB sensor for weed detection and green and brown spot spray. Use multispectral for crop health and variable weight prescription. For weed detection, you should have a GSD of 2 cm per pixel or lower. For green and brown detection, 3 cm or lower. And for crop health, you can even go above 5 cm per pixel. This table shows flight heights of the Mavic 3 Multispectral and the respective GSD values and coverage performance. Your image overlap setting should be 70% side and 80% front overlap. For multispectral crop health analyzers, it's best to fly at clear sky or fully overcast conditions. The next step is the processing of the drone images. We need to copy the data from our drone's SD card to our computer. The drone records RGB images as JPEG and multispectral images as TIFF. To process the data, we start Pix4D fields. Create a new project. and import the folder with the drone images. If the folder has both RGB and multispectral data, the software will ask you which to process. For this tutorial, I process the RGB images, which are in JPEG format. The fast processing option generates a georeferenced high-resolution aerial map. Now, I use the boundary mode to create my field boundary. I can draw the boundary myself or import an existing shapefile. I can add obstacles to mark areas where I do not want to apply any product. Now I use my field boundary to trim my dataset to the field area. This ensures that my analysis is not affected by non-field areas such as trees or buildings. The magic tool will help me to find vegetated areas on this field. I define an appropriate grid size for my machine and align the grid to the main driving direction of the field. With blue labels, I teach the algorithm which areas to detect and with yellow labels, I tell him what to ignore. The result is an annotation, which I can use with the targeted operations tool to create a spot spraying map later. Inside the operations menu, I select prefill an application grid with an existing annotation. I also select my field boundary and obstacles. My magic tool annotation will be used to fill the grid with application zones. Finally, I configure the prescription grid appropriate for my applying machine. On the operations layer, I can now manually edit and create application zones and set application weights. In the next section, I want to show you how you can create a variable weight prescription map from a satellite image. Via the import menu, you can not only import drone data, but also access the satellite data import tool. Here, you select any appropriate scene to base your map on. 
Use the cloud cover and NDVI indicators to select the right scene. In the operations menu, select the nation to convert your satellite crop health map into a VIA prescription map. First, configure your application grid and then define your zonation parameters. The result will be another operation layer where you can edit and define application weights. To upload prescription maps to the John Deere Operations Center, we need to connect PIX40 fields to your account. In the export menu, select Share, John Deere and click Connect with John Deere. A browser window will pop up and ask you to connect your account to PIX40 fields. If you have multiple organizations, you need to configure their access separately. For that, select Setup and Connections in the John Deere Operations Center, search for PIX4 d fields, and click Select Organizations. There, choose the organization which you want to give access to PIX4 d fields. For uploading data from PIX4 d field, such as maps, boundaries, and prescriptions, you need to have fields set up in the operation center first. Create new fields if you do not have any yet. To upload data, you need to select organization, client, farm and field. Select Boundaries to upload field boundaries to the John Deere Operations Center. Select Layer to upload aerial maps or vegetation index maps to the John Deere Operations Center. Select Prescription Map to upload your planned operation layers to the John Deere Operations Center. In this case, I have a spot spraying map, which I upload. And again, my variable weight map, which I want to upload to the John Deere Operations Center. Back at the Operations Center, I can now see my high resolution drone map from PIX40 fields inside my Operations Center account. Via the Work Planner, I can send the prescription maps with wireless data transfer to my machine. Select the field, product and the prescription maps to create a work plan. Do the same steps again for any other prescription maps you want to apply. Once the work plans are created, select the work plans you want to send to your equipment. And click Send to Equipment and Send. That's it. Find detailed knowledge base articles about flight planning, prescription map creation and the operation center connection in the video description. I see you next time.